Hello, my name is Nathan. Today we're working on a four horsepower Mercury outboard engine. It stops spitting out water, <coughs> seems that, which would indicate that its water pump or impeller is no longer functional. It's a pretty simple engine, we're just going to take it apart and try to do that today. I've already actually started to separate it so you can see how to dismantle this type of uh, motor. This assembly is really easy. There's one bolt in the front, one bolt in the back. Actually just tapping a little bit brings it up. I've already separated it right here so you can see how it comes apart. These two arms right here, one is actually the shift actuator, so what makes you go from forward, reverse, neutral. This is actually the drive shaft that comes from the power head, goes down to the prop. This portion right here is where the impeller is. You might not know if you can see it. I'll try to do a close-up a little bit later. But there are two bolts right, bolts right here. You remove these, pop this off, the whole thing comes off the shaft, the impeller's right inside. Okay, so here we've got the shifter shaft, the drive shaft, and the impeller housing. I've taken off these two bolts right here. This right here is sort of a key. And you want to pay attention to that because it is actually a rubber uh, O-ring that slides down. And if you don't remove that up first, you're not going to be able to get that housing off. But the rest of it comes out pretty easy. You can just move this upwards. It'll slide up and all the way off the shaft. Then the housing, you can remove it up too. Now inside this housing is supposed to be something that's shaped almost like a little star. It circles around and just pumps water. I don't know if you can make it out here, but he, you can see this one is just chunks. And yep, the impeller is obviously terrible. It's actually been full on destroyed. Last thing is just to slip that impeller off the whole shaft. Oh yep, and then we'll install another one. One final tip, there's a little O-ring right here at the top. You'll need to remove that to slide any of this off. But they all come apart pretty easy. You don't have to disassemble anything more. And uh, when I put it, uh, I won't be showing you installation today because I haven't bought the part. But we'll be putting that together hopefully this week.